Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited you're here. I'm Shandy from ExpressionFiberArts.com and I had requests to make some little snowflake ornaments that you can hang on your tree. So today we're going to be crocheting this little snowflake. Just to give you a visual of what you're going to be doing, we're starting with this little cent central center circle thingy, <laughs> moving on to this with the loops, then we create these little edge crystals on our snowflake, and finally you're going to end up with this using the tail as your little hanging thingy. The example I showed you was fingering weight yarn and a US size F hook. I'm going to be using worsted weight yarn today so you can see it better and a J-hook which will of course produce a bigger snowflake so that's up to you whatever size you want to use. So let's begin by working a magic loop. Wrap the yarn around your finger twice, insert your hook under the first loop, pick up that second loop and pull it through. Now leave this little loop here. Okay, start with a chain one and work 12 single crochets into this ring. So one, it'll feel a little fiddly, two, working into this magic ring, three, but we're gonna cinch it up tight, four, once we're all done, five, so that we don't have a center hole, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now finish by slip stitching into your first single crochet and pull the tail so that your hole closes up. Row one is done. All right, so round number two, you're going to start with a chain three, which counts as your first double crochet. And then double crochet into this first chain I'm sorry, this first stitch here that your chain three is originating out of. And then you're going to work two double crochets in each stitch around. So we'll have increased from 12 up to 24. So one and two, three and four. And just continue all the way around working two double crochets in each stitch. If you are unfamiliar with double crochets, if you're a beginner crocheter, have no fear. I have a tutorial for you where I break it down and go a bit slower. I just don't want this to be a snooze fest in case you do know how to double crochet and you're just trying to make a pretty snowflake. All right, Duke, and the second one. And I do have another video with a different crochet snowflake ornament pattern. So you can go check that out as well if you wanna create some variety on your tree and not have all of your snowflakes looking identical. Cause you know they should all be different anyways, just like real snowflakes. Okay, final one. And then you're gonna finish with a slip stitch in the top of that original chain three. One, two, three. Boop, 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 boop. And you're done with round number two. Now round number three is super simple. You start with a chain one and you work one single crochet in each stitch around. So start with this first stitch, single crochet, and just work one in each double crochet around until you get back to the beginning. And then you're going to, of course, slip stitch into that first one so that you complete your round. And this round will actually be the final round for finishing up this little central circle part of our snowflake. You're gonna be whipping these out so fast, they really just don't take any time at all. And these would actually make cute little coasters, come to think of it. If you just leave off the little hanging part, this would make a great little set of coasters as a wonderful gift. Okay, I'm going to do it in the final stitch and then slip stitch into the first one. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, 
Round number four, you're going to chain one and single crochet into the same stitch. Now chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and then single crochet into that next stitch. And then repeat that around. So chain five, two, three, four, five, skip two stitches and single crochet into the next one. Chain five, three, four, five, skip two stitches, single crochet into the next one. One, two, three, four, five. And this is creating the little spaces. It'll just show up as little holes basically. And then we're gonna work our next round into these chains. They're gonna actually disappear. Do, do, do. We're just building a foundation upon which to work our next round. Skip two, go on the third one. One, two, three, four, five. Skip two, go on the third one. One, two, three, four, five. And when you go all the way around, skip two and just slip stitch into this final single crochet. Ta-da! Round number four. Okay, round number five is gonna be our final round and it is a little more complex, but it's, we'll, we'll break it down. Okay, so you start with a chain one and you're going to single crochet into the same stitch as your slip stitch so that into that same single crochet basically. Loop. Okay, now into this chain five space, we're going to work a series of stitches. Begin with a half double crochet, then three double crochets. So one, two, three. Then you're gonna work what's called a three pico cluster. So the three pico cluster is chain four, one, two, three, four, and you're going to slip stitch into this first chain. Okay, then you're going to chain three, two, three, slip stitch into that first chain, the same one that you just slip stitched into. All right. And then you're going to do that again, the chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch into the same stitch again. Oops, slip stitch. So that makes a little three point pico cluster. All right, now we're continuing to work in that same chain five space. So next you're going to work three double crochets and then finish with a half double crochet, again in that chain five space. And then after that, you're going to single crochet into the next single crochet. All right, then we're gonna repeat all of that into each chain five space around. So I'll show you again. Here's what you're gonna end up with. I know I went a little fast, so we're gonna do it again Break it down, go a little bit slower so you can make sure you're doing it exactly right. Okay, begin by working, which I've already done, a single crochet into the single crochet from the row below. All right, now into the chain five space. We're going to work one half double crochet. So there's one half double crochet. Then you're gonna work three double crochets. One, two, and three. Here's what you've got so far. Now we're going to work the three pico cluster. So to do that, you're going to start with a chain four. One, two, three, four, and slip stitch in that first chain, this first chain that you did. Slip stitch. Okay, you have a little, little pook. Then chain three, 
one, two, three, slip stitch into that same original first chain that you just slip stitched in. And then again, chain three, and slip stitch a third time into that same space. There you go. And that is your three Pico cluster. So let's go ahead and finish off this little section. Three double crochets in that same chain five space. One, two, and three. And then finish off with a half double crochet. And also remember, you're then going to single crochet into that next single crochet. So repeat that all the way around in each chain five space, slip stitching into the original stitch here once you come to it and you are done. When you come back around to the start, just slip stitch into that first single crochet. And don't cut your tail, you want to leave a little bit of a length so that you can turn it into the hang, hanging tie. So here is the worsted weight version, and here's the fingering weight version, which is the size hanging on my tree. So that is up to you, whatever size you want to make. You do want to make sure and block your finished snowflake. So you can see how this one's kind of lumpy, bumpy, and wiggly. This one's smoother. This one was wet and laid out and pinned into shape and allowed to air dry, so it makes a crisper, cleaner look. And this works on natural fibers like wool, cotton, etc. It doesn't work so great on acrylic. Thank you so much for watching this video, and thanks to Christina Smiley for designing this snowflake pattern for you. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and comment below with any ideas you have for future videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on future episodes. Now, if you would like this pattern written down, you can head to expressionfiberarts.com and download the PDF pattern if that helps you, if you prefer that method. Also, be sure to sign up for my email newsletter there so I can send you other free knit and crochet patterns as well as information about our big monthly yarn giveaways. All right, thanks again so much for watching. I hope your holidays are wonderful, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>